Hi, this is Kimberly, and today we're going to make this fun box with this, um, it's a tool ribbon, kind you use, you know, for weddings and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's what's wrapped around the box. I made this box, it, the lid comes off, it's attached right now, but I'll show you. And uh, I made it with my Gypsy using the George cartridge, and I just wanted to show you what the file looks like. I'll have that up on my blog under 3 inch box. How's that for creative? <laughs> but that's what it is, it's 3 inches by 3 inches. Square. So there's my three-inch box, and let's see. We'll put it right there. Here it is on the on the Gypsy. I have not updated my Gypsy yet. I'm going to do that pretty soon. Maybe even when I put this file up on my blog. So here's the main box. It's in red. It's welded and everything. All I did was use squares and rectangles and a circle. How easy is that? And um, it has the little circle cut out for the ring, and like I said, it was really easy to make if you want to make it yourself. If you don't have the George cartridge, I just use squares and rectangles. So, um, we'll go ahead and make the box now. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is I'll show you how I cut it out. When it's all cut out, this is what it looks like. The circle that you saw goes right there, and I ended up putting this on the top of my box, kind of add a little something to the top. So, that's the pieces. Now, you can use your ruler and a scoring tool, but I decided to use my score pal today, so I'm going to go ahead and get that out. Okay. All I do is line it up with one of the lines on there. It doesn't matter which one. I just need a straight line. There we go. Okay, so pretty easy. It just you fold it on each of the fold lines, and then we'll go ahead and and tape that up. The fun thing about using a pattern paper is that the inside of the box is a different color than the outside, and how cool is that? And the lid too. So let's go ahead and score this one. Now, like I said, I'm just looking for a straight line. I'm not um, particularly using any any certain measurement. Just looking for a straight line. This one all the way down. All the folding. Now you'll notice that the circle is not centered it's so that when the lid comes down it only just covers a little bit of it. We'll glue this. I wanted to use the liquid glue on this. I thought it would be a little easier. And that goes right there. To adhere the box sides together uh, you could use score tape. Um, I also have this terrifically tacky tape from Provocraft that works really well. It's red. and. That's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to just put a little bit on each edge. Okay, so now I have all four edges done. I'm just going to go ahead and peel that off. Ooh, and it is very sticky. So um, make sure you line it up right the first time because it get one chance. Okay, so I'm just lining those edges right up. Okay, so there we have the box. Alright, so we'll put that aside for a minute and let's um, do the lid. Now, on this lid you'll notice I have uh, the ribbon looking lacy thing. It's actually paper that I punched with the Martha Stewart story lace punch and and then I cut it about an inch. I just put the box lid up there and measured it. So now I'm just going to fold each of these corners up. And then we have that. And another option for the lid that I wanted to show you is I bought this. It's a felt ribbon. So you could just put a lacy ribbon under here too and go ahead and just mount that right there and use a little bit of glue on that so you just 
turn it over and see what it's looking like. Okay, so now we have a fun little lace border on our lid. And then there's the Martha Stewart paper one. So, you have options. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, the rip rack. That's what's next. Okay, I wanted to add a little bit of color to this. So, I went ahead and you'll want to pick the front of your lid at this point. That's going to be my front because the rip rack won't necessarily made up perfectly at the back. You know. We'll try. We'll see. Okay, so same thing with the glue. Just hold it right there for a minute. Okay, while this is drying, I'll tell you that the the pattern paper, the green and the pink, it's actually a two-sided paper. It comes from crate crate paper. It's the Blue's, Blue Hills collection, and it's called Grass. And our lid. Okay. So while we're letting that dry, let's go ahead and do this fun little stamp. Now, okay, now the stamp came from Fiskars. And it's the it says you're so sweet. And I just took some scrap paper. Well, let's go ahead and ink up our stamp. And this is just scratch paper left over from doing the box. Let's put that right in a corner. Okay. And get off the top. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on here and put that right here and just give it a really thin, really thin, <laughs> maybe I'll trim just a touch off there, okay, just a really thin white mat to it. There's our sentiment. Now I found that for this, using a little bit of the, the, the red tacky tape from Provocraft would be good because it, sometimes they just fall off. Okay, so there's our little sentiment. And I'm going to put it right there on the box going to come up above the circle a little bit, but it's going to have this, this green of the box to mat it also. Okay. All right. Oh, and I forgot to put the acetate in. <laughs> you do that before you build your box, because now we got to figure out how to do it. <laughs> okay. Just going to go in here in the box. <laughs> and that will be probably enough. Okay, so I just cut a piece of acetate uh, a little bit smaller than the three inches. And it scratches and it gets dirty really easily, so treat it with care, I guess. Okay, and there we have it. There's our box, and like I said, I just tried tool around it, and I'm just going to slip it back on. But it holds the, the lid on the box while you're giving it away. So that's all there is to it. And as soon as this one's dry, we'll put it on its box. Thanks for watching.